Hello guys and welcome back to Agrarian Skies. No, this is not Agrarian Skies. This is Crash Lang this is Crash Landing. Uh I don't know. It's another thing that requires a quest book, that's why I'm playing it in the first place because I enjoy playing Agrarian Skies and currently I haven't finished Agrarian Skies but I'm just starting on this new series. I'm cancelling Agrarian Skies because I don't know, I have exams coming on so I can't work on two uh, series at the same time so I will be working on this series uh, off camera I've done a lot of stuff this is my base what I've done it's the same way I've started off Agurans guys is just show off my base like what I've done and yeah you could see my, my base is just a big circle and then I have a mob spawner over there I have tons of stuff uh, I've worked on this like I think three days off camera uh, play, play time around like 20 or so hours I think Okay, so I've got a pressure chamber. I've got a pressure chamber from Primatic Craft. I haven't played Primatic Craft before, so uh, I'm not that good at it. I'm sure there are many people out there that are pretty efficient at making stuff. But for me, Primatic Craft is just make a ton of that shit and just use it for the rest of my series. I think. Uh, so we have a, a scorch oven. We have a oven from. Agrarians guys, it's like I've moved everything from that series uh, into this world, but same thing, It this thing triples your all outputs, so I'll be mainly using this one, but it's okay, uh, we've got a smeltery for alloy smelting and stuff, yeah, and then we've got a farm. This map, there is a liquid system, so we need to drink water every now and then, and I have to drink my water too, because... <coughs> okay, so, this map... It, hurt, it really hurts on water. It mainly focuses on water and food. It's a hardcore series. Once you die, you lose the game. But here's the catch. You have sink installed. And sink installed, you basically get another life. So when I die, I get into this life and continue playing. And trust me, this game is hardcore. Hardcore, man. To make a machine frame, you need to... To make thermal expansion machines, you need machine frames and machine frames are freaking expensive you know you got Inva, you've got Electrum you've got your uh, redstone plastic sheets printed circuit boards which which is capacitors tons of crazy stuff it takes forever to make a thermal expansion machine and yes I'm pretty much done with all those quests basic survival I believe you guys have seen direwolf or generic B play all these maps yeah they've been through a bit but I've been to more I think uh, if they don't have any videos to back up so I've completed most of this stuff uh, this one is just I don't know it's not even a quest it just doesn't want you to complete basic survival but basically I'm done yeah this thing is not a quest but you just want to complete it so this thing this area at the corner is actually just miscellaneous quest you just have to get to the location and then it completes the quest it's like a quest line but a side quest line so whatever so basic survival you get to learn how to all multiply using the uh, seared faucet, seared oven, triple play even hotter melting leaves you get water don't know why metal dust you uh, sieve those guys over here over here you've, I've got a system where uh, it's just stone hammer it's, it's the same old system in agrarian skies and I've got a omni directional hopper going into a pulverizer and I'm pulverizing sand uh, some crazy stuff going on here. I've got autonomous activator going on to the oak sieve and I'm sifting stuff. To be honest, this is really crazy. And I've got an auto packager running on a survivalist generator. This is the cheapest generator that doesn't require machine frame, so you got to use this at the start. But eventually, you get to upgrading to those guys over there, like a dynamo, I think, a uh, reactant dynamo, they want you to craft this, so whatever, I'm going to craft that. I've got a mob spawner, simple mob spawner, drop down, uh, and then there are special mobs installed, so when those mobs have special armor or something, special health, they are giant skeletons and stuff, grinder takes care of them, oh, wow. Okay, so mob griefing has been turned off, originally it has been turned on, but you have to turn it off, because there are just creepers exploding everywhere, it's crazy. So. Up there, I've got a tower of uh, my beacon. I don't know what to call it. It's like a it's like a tower of hope or something. Where you go up, you just hang glide off straight to the abandoned city. Whatever. There's my farm. Nothing much to see here. My primitive craft farm, and there's a quarry over there going on to get dirt. 
and nothing much to be honest to start off this series but I'm gonna make myself a sink shell right now sink storage just for fun uh, because I think I only have two lives now there's something weird with the mod so I can only have two lives even though I actually have a sink storage right there but uh, what am I missing I don't know what am I missing let's see we've got Oh, do we have, we have nether quartz? Oh, we just need a redstone block, so nothing much to see here. But we are, oh, we are in need of obsidian. To get obsidian, uh, I think I've got this small setup over here. You just need lava and redstone, I guess. It's a vanilla thing, I think. It's a vanilla thing. So you just switch the terrain smasher. It doesn't require a diamond pickaxe so it's like a cheap way to actually get yourself some obsidian quick way also although I do have an alumite pickaxe uh, which enables me to break obsidian this thing still works a ton faster than mining it personally by hand so yeah this thing it's a quick it's like a quick tip or something <clears throat> my throat's getting a bit hoarse here's all my uh, my awesome metals and stuff I don't know I'm not bragging or something but I am bragging because uh, tons of time spent into making those items so this gets me going uh, this map is fun to be honest but I don't think I have the time as much as I have to, uh, when I play agrarian skies whatever and yeah let me put the six shell right here and we need a pressure plate to complete the system Let's grab two stone right there and craft ourselves a pressure plate I think this works uh, there's something wrong with the mod, so let me just keep some of the stuff before something goes wrong, I think. Yeah, I don't know, it's something weird. Okay, let's go to the overworld. Whoa, oh, the animation. The revolution. Okay, so I'm out in a new life and I'm constructing myself a new shell. Is it working? No, it doesn't have power to it. Uh, that's weird. I should have connected power to it, but it's okay. Uh, let me just grab my battle wrench, grab myself the energy cell just dump it right next to it or on top because it provides energy right down below okay do I have it set to on output okay did I just oh I did a crash radius output but it's not working something's wrong oh I'm dehydrating now so let me just grab my camel pack dehydration in this game really pisses people off I believe I've seen on some forums or something they are complaining that the Dehydration rate is way too much. Okay, why are you not getting any energy at all? Okay, uh, is this working? Okay, now it's working. So, I have two lives, and let me just take care of this so it doesn't get in the way when I try to get into my new life. Oh shit, there's a ton of stuff. Ugh, sorry to make force you guys to watch this, but. This is me messing around in this map. I'll be doing a ton of stuff off camera because I have no reason to show you on camera, I think. If you guys want to see more of this series, please comment, like this video, and I will do whatever you want, I think. Yeah, that's just an introductory video to Crash Landing. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys. Please subscribe or like the video or something. So I will do this sometime. I think if I can find the time to do whatever. So peace out. See you guys later.